spotted some Jehovah Witnesses. Wow, I'm gonna go for gold. Stay right where you are. They're indoor still. Oh man, I feel shaky as usual. Oh, hiya. How you doing? Good. How are you? Doing your uh, work? Yes. Yes. I think we've spoken in the square. Yeah, we might have done. Before. Yeah. 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 Is it not Steve, is it? Chris. Chris, sorry. It was a little while ago. Yeah, I think you were talking to Peter. We'd heard from Peter. And then you had a little chat with you in Emsworth Square. That's right. So you've been yeah. keeping okay? Yeah, all right. Thank you. Yeah. Because did you study with us at one time? I'm trying to remember now. Many years ago I did. Yeah, back in yeah, the 80s. Yeah, yeah. But... What caused you to stop studying then? Okay, well I, I discovered sort of many things which were not right with the organisation. And some of the things, a lot of the things what they said in the past and I, I said, you know, this doesn't seem right. Yeah. You know, like these, uh, how they've like changed dates. You know, they changed the dates of 1914. They have this other thing called this overlapping generation mm -hmm. teaching. You, you know, just didn't feel it was correct. You know, I say it with respect, you know, yeah. because I've got no problem with yourselves, okay? And, you know, I just, I said, you know, I think, you know, I, they're false teachers, okay? That's what I come to the conclusion of, yeah. okay? So who do you feel then is preaching the good news of the kingdom today? Well, I know that there's many Christian missionaries, there's many Christian churches, you know, they point the way to Jesus Christ, they, yeah. they actually preach the gospel. Yeah, but are you know, they preaching the good news about the kingdom? I believe that the word gospel means good news. It does mean good news. Yeah. yeah, and so, you know, like for many years, that's what they've been doing. Yeah. Since the time of, you know, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, that's mm. what they've been doing. Mm. Mm. So, um, so you, you know, I believe that... Who do you feel is responsible within the church then? I actually believe we're. I actually, I actually believe we're all responsible yeah. for preaching the gospel. Yeah. You so know, if the we church can. You're with, does each individual member of the church go out and actually? If they preach? possibly can, they will. Yeah, yeah. I know that we just recently had an outreach event. You know, to hopefully bring people into the church, yeah. or should let's put this another way, to Jesus. Yeah. yeah you know, because yeah. you know Jesus said, "I am the way, the truth, and the life." Yeah. You know, no man comes to me. Unless the Father draws him. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So how do you feel about Jesus and, and God then? Do you feel that Jesus is God? Right, this, this is another thing, okay. Mm. And um, this is another reason why I've sort of came away from the Jehovah Witnesses. Mm. Because they, they teach that Jesus, sorry, yeah. They teach that Jesus is less than God. Mm. Okay. They say that, you know, God is more superior to Jesus. Mm. But there's a lot of evidence to suggest that Jesus, Jesus and God are one and the same person. Mm. And this is another thing what sort of bothers me, because it seems like the Watchtower Society have done their utmost to try and deny that. Okay, you know, like they've got the New World Translation, which they, they've taken out, John, they've changed John 1.1 1, 1 in that, you know, and various other bits. They say that, oh, it's a pagan teaching, you know, and all these kinds of things. Because I was going to say, the reason why I asked that question was because um, probably out of most Christian religions, uh, we are one of the only Christian religions, if not the only Christian religion, that actually believes that Jesus is the only begotten Son of God, um, that God is his Father, um, and that they're not equal. We feel that God has always existed, whereas the Bible teaches yeah. that God was, or Jesus, was created by God as his firstborn. So, but I say once again. I know what I know what you're saying because I'm very familiar with your teachings. Mm. But then that's what the Bible teaches us. So I think at the end of the day, it's but then you the see, Bible, isn't it? 
teach us and actually accepting we actually worship said. Jesus there's actually worship for Jesus now in heaven you know it says that all God's angels should worship Jesus I think it talks about everybody should bend their knee to Jesus but I mean when Jesus is on the earth if you think about it what did Jesus say with regards to worship who did he say we should worship because when Satan said to him bow down and do one act of worship to me he said go away Satan it is written, it is Jehovah your God and him You're alone. quoting me, Matthew. But you see, what you need to bear in mind is when people worship Jesus, he never denied it. He never said, you know, oh, you're not meant to worship me, you're meant to worship the Father. You know, there was occasions when people came up to him and they, they worshipped him. I'm not familiar with that, so I'll have to, I'll have to leave that one on, on there. I'm sort of thinking of a scripture at the moment. Okay, maybe it's a bit off course, but it's Matthew 2.11. And what you know, Matthew two eleven say. Actually, no, that's referring to the uh, birth of Jesus. Oh, right, okay. But we're talking about you know the wise men. They came and worshipped Jesus. They gave mm. him the gifts. They gave him gifts because they. If you think about it, when people used to visit a king back then, they would always take gifts. So because Jesus was the king of the Jews, they took gifts to Jesus, not yeah. to give worship, but to actually. Um, come as a respectful thing as visiting a king and doing obeisance in that sense and we agree see this is another thing why have they changed that word worship to obeisance they've actually changed that I believe but I say we do believe that there's only one true God and if you go to um, Jewish people their God was one God he was not three gods the Holy Spirit is God's power it's not actually a person which is gets me back to another thing. Jesus actually got into trouble with the Jewish authorities. They tried to stone him on one occasion. John 8, 58, I believe that is. Don't quote me, but um, they said, you know, you're making yourself out to be God. And like they, they regarded it as blasphemy. And you know, like Jesus forgave sins. He did, because and God you know, granted that sin We only know do. that God alone forgives sins. Well, Jehovah actually granted Jesus to do that. And if you think about it as well, when, after he was resurrected, so not in human form anymore, you know, he actually said, didn't he, to his disciples, all authority has been given me. So the thing is, if all authority was given him, who gave it to him? You can't have someone lower than him giving him all authority. It would have to be someone higher bestowing the authority on him. And that would be God who Well, you've got to remember that Jesus came as a man, but this was after he was resurrected, so it's back to the spirit picture again. And of course he was, he was resurrected as having then immortality. So you're actually telling me that now that Jesus is in heaven as the Archangel Michael again? Yeah, he's back up in heaven again. Yeah, he certainly is. And we believe that, yes, he corresponds to the Archangel Michael. Yeah. I mean, like I say, I am very familiar with your beliefs. Yeah, yeah. I have actually studied your beliefs, so yeah. I know. Yeah. But like and I say, we still I'm study them. You know, if we if we ever felt well, a disciple what, is a learner. Yeah, so we continue okay. to learn. And if you think about it, the Bible tells us that even with everlasting life, we're never actually going to come to know everything about Jehovah God. So the thing is, we're made in such a way that we want to learn, we want to do these things. So we're always be learning. And I think the thing is, you know, the Bible says become imitators of God. So we try to become imitators. So we're always learning in that regard. What do you, you know, what do you think about all these things which the organi your organisation have said in the past and they haven't come to pass? What's your opinion on that? Well, if you think about the first century Christians, Jesus had been with them, he'd been teaching them. They didn't seem to grasp what was going to happen on the night of his betrayal and death. After his resurrection, they actually asked him, are you restoring the kingdom at this mm. time? They still hadn't grasped it. So the thing is, at the end of the day, Jehovah reveals things when it's the time to reveal things. He refines things to people. Mm. And so therefore, understandings get refined. They start to see, actually, maybe that wasn't it. Um, and that's always been the case. Jehovah's always gradually sort of lightened things okay. up and revealed things to people. All right. This is what bothers me about Watchtower Society, okay? They deny the deity of Jesus. I know that you're going to, you know, all right. Yeah, I, we're just disagreeing yeah. to disagree here, okay? They deny <laughs> the deity of Jesus, which really bothers me. 
they've brought in this other new version of the Bible called the New World Translation. Yeah, it's revised. Which, yeah, which apparently was had. Um, there was a man by the name of Johannes Graeber. Have you ever heard of him? I'm not sure. Okay, well to cut a story short, and this is going to surprise you, he was a spiritualist medium, and apparently he had a big hand in that New World Translation. If you do your research on it, you will find out. That bothers me. It bothers me that the reason... It seems like they're bringing this New World Translation in to fit around their teachings, okay? We use any Bible with any okay. person. Well, that's one thing. And that... I did that with a lady the other day, yeah. and I said to her, I used the New International Version, and I said to her, we said, it's, it's said of us that, you know, we have made our Bible out to reflect our teachings. Yeah. So as I was going through it with her, because she did, she either doesn't have her own Bible or she, she couldn't lay her hands on it, I did ask her if she could get hers out. Um, so I said, well, look, I'll use this one. I take the King James New International Version, New International Version I'll yeah. take my own. And I know pretty well what my own Bible says, although the language has been updated, hasn't it? So I'm probably more familiar with the older wording. Um, but then the teaching hasn't changed. It's just an update of language to make it easier for people to understand. Um, but, as I said to her, some of the scriptures in the New International Version, I couldn't tell you what they were going to say, but yeah. they said what our Bible said. I know our Bible says the okay. same thing. Yeah. Can I just bring up my concerns, what I have? Is that okay? Can, can I tell you why I don't go to the Kingdom Hall? Yeah, didn't I? Okay, so that was number one reason mm -hmm. that they, it appears that they deny the deity of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. which, you know, if we're denying that Jesus, who he really is, you know, that's not good, you know, they're, they're saying, they're, they're teaching that he's less than God, he's an angel. Okay, that's number one. Number two, they've got this version of the Bible called the New World Translation, which a spiritualist medium apparently had a big hand in. Number three, they've made a lot of things in the past, you know, they've said a lot of things in the past which haven't come to pass, like um, the 1914 teaching, 1925, you may not know about 1925. Also, this business where they were involved with the United Nations between 1991 and 2001. Okay, all these things. Um, I was going to say something else and I've forgotten. And you know, there's all these things what are going on and it just doesn't seem right. I think the thing is, I would only have to find. Right, this is what thing. I was going to say. Sorry, this That's is my major it. thing, okay? Right. Jehovah Witness. Well, Watchtower religion is a very new religion, okay? It's only been around for about 150 years, all right? Now, it seems, you know, I, again, I say this with respect and I say it with love, all right? What about all the work of the Christians down the centuries for 2,000 years? So that counts for nothing. Because, you know, the impression I get, again, I say this with love and respect, is that, you know, you've got Watchtower come along and they've said, well, you know, that crowd count for nothing. You know, what they've done, it counts for nothing. So all those thousands of missionaries who've gone out throughout the centuries, all those people who have died down the centuries because of their faith, all those people who have done their level best to bring the Bible to us, all counts for nothing because it's all satanic and it's dark. The only real religion on this earth today, the only real channel of what God is using today is us. I think don't you think that, you know, no, again, I, I say this fine. with love and respect, but don't you think fine. that comes across as a bit arrogant? No, I think what you'll find is that we actually, um, in, in some of our DVDs now, it brings about how the people, um, Willington Dale and different ones like that, who were lovers of truth and how they defend the truth, we don't dismiss what they did. The Bible says that Jehovah will never ever leave himself without witness on the earth. So there's always been lovers of truth, and there's always been ones who have tried to do what is right and maybe try and help other people to understand. But you'll be familiar with Jesus' illustration of the wheat and the weeds. The yes. weeds actually overpower the wheat until the time of the end. And that's when the truth actually then becomes abundant. But I think, like you said, you know, you've got several things that you that bother you, and so therefore, as your choice, you've chosen not to associate yeah. with us anymore in that particular regard. But you know, I'd only have to find one thing that I found they taught as a lie, and I believe, and I've never even found. No, one. that's so that's so fair I enough. Think the thing is, you must you must tread your course as we must tread but ours. Don't you think it's you know? 
again, it, it, it's a very bold claim to say that because they come up with this, you know, they do come up with very, Watchtower come up with very bold claims. They say that, um, you know, we are the only channel on earth which God is using. Don't well, they I've say, only ever had one don't, organization. Don't you ever say that? They do say that, but they also come up with this other claim that in 1919 they were inspected and they were like the only ones, you know. Yeah, but I say once again, I think the thing is, I do not, I have never, apart from Mormons, I have never had anybody come and knock on my door. Mormons don't preach the good news of the kingdom. I preach the good news of the kingdom, so does my daughter, so does my son. Um, this is the only organisation that I am aware of on earth who actually goes out, all of the people actually go out and they, they preach. Um, obviously they preach according to their circumstances and we're all unified in our understanding. All the things that the Bible says we should be, we are. We're all imperfect people as well, none of us are perfect, so we all make mistakes. But as I say, if I found one thing that I thought they taught as a lie, I'd leave. But I never have, and I don't think I ever will. That's how sure I am. But as I said, I think it's down to each of us, you see, to make our choices. And you've made your choice. Um, if you ever find out that maybe you have been misled, then no doubt you'll retrace your steps and you'll do whatever you feel you must do. But I think that's, that's the thing, is that's the thing with each and every person on this earth today. We must make our choice as to what we think is right, and we respect what other people do. Um, you know, and we have to leave that with each individual. But anyway, we have to excuse us because we've got uh, a few more no, houses I, I to wanna call up. I want to talk to you a little bit further. Is that all right? Well, if you don't mind, I just want to show you something, and I want to ask your opinion on it. Right, make it quick then, if you don't mind. It's just okay. that we've got some more houses to call on. Just give me two secs. What is it you're going to show me? Ah, you're about to see. Okay, have you ever heard of a man by the name of Raymond Franz? Uh, I've heard of Brother Franz. I don't know if his name is. Okay, there, there's a man by the name of... Now, you should know this. Raymond Franz was a governing body member for nine years. Right. There was a brother, okay. I know there was a brother called Brother Franz. He actually was related to Freddie Franz. He wrote this book. Hmm. Have you ever seen it? And he talks all about the organisation. Does he? Well, that's up to him. Why he left. Yeah, well, that's up to him. It's like you said, you had your reasons for why you wanted to leave. At the end of the day, it's down to each person to look at the scriptures, to yeah. make their decision for themselves, and Jehovah allows each of us to do that. Um, and I suppose the thing is, if we think about it, when Jesus is on the earth, we know that what he taught is truthful, we know that he was sent by God. Agreed. And yet, the religious leaders opposed him. And yes. So, did lot of so the thing is, you know, we expect people to oppose us today, to, to say things about us. But at the end of the day, it's down to each individual to choose for themselves, which is what you must do, which is what I must do, which is what I must do. Okay. But would you mind? Thank you for showing us But I, I, re I really want to share a few things with you, if that's okay. Well, I just want to ask you yeah. a question. I'll tell you what the best thing to do is, if you've got questions you'd like to ask, come to the Kingdom Hall at the end of the meeting time, and there'll be elders there who can discuss things with you. I'll be there as well. Um, I mean, we'll have a meeting tomorrow. Okay, it starts at one o'clock, and it ends at quarter to three. So if you come along tomorrow at quarter to three, you won't be a part of the meeting, because you know where the Kingdom Hall is, um, you don't know. It's you know where in bed happened. We've got the quick fit garage. Where the quick fit garage is here on the left hand well, side. The road right next to it is Staunton Road. Right down the end of that is the Kingdom Hall. So if you come along tomorrow at quarter to three, then you can ask. Well, thanks. Of, well, thanks very much for your offer. Yeah. I, I really appreciate it's just that. We've that. got to do some but more doors. What I'm going to say is, I've got all this proof well, to suggest, okay. and I've got a lot of concerns to say. That your organisation it's in error it's 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 teaching That's falsehood okay. that is your decision and you must run with your decision but we you have to let us make our decision as we respect but i would like to say something right very last thing because i'm not a practicing jehovah witness mm. because i'm not going to the kingdom hall apparently i'm going to perish at armageddon I'm going to be destroyed at Armageddon, apparently. Well, 
if, if that's but what the you believe... No, you this, is, this is what the Jehovah Witnesses say. But the thing is, I don't believe... I, I'm not going to say I don't believe it, but what I'm saying is I disagree with your teaching because oh, okay. I have good reason to believe that it's false teaching. Well, that's okay. okay. That's your choice. And I would say that but to you, whatever, whatever because, you want to come at me with, I would come back yeah. with the same No, that's, 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 that's good. That's, that's your good. choice. But you look you know, into it, I, you make your I'm decision. I'm putting my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. I haven't rejected the Lord. If I rejected the Lord Jesus Christ, that would be, that would be bad. Yeah, I'm not rejecting the word of, of God, the Bible. I'm not rejecting Jesus. So that makes me, according to Watchtower religion, even though, you know, I don't go to the Kingdom Hall and I'm not sort of practicing as a Jehovah Witness. On bad news, I'm going to be destroyed at Armageddon. I, think I mean, do you really think that's right? Well, Seriously. The Bible tells us that Jesus will come as judge. Now we know that Jesus will judge righteously. He will put the goats on his yes. left and he'll put the sheep on his right. Yes. What makes a person a sheep or a goat is the fact that whether they do good to Christ's brothers. So the thing is, at the end of the day, you know, Jesus is going to be the judge. So yes. however he judges, and as I've just said, it will be righteously, I'm not going to stand here and say to you that I am saved because I don't think I am. Jesus Christ said, he that endures to the end will be saved. So I must endure faithfully. But it says in the scriptures, you know, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. What do you, what's, your, what's your thoughts on that? I believe what the scriptures say, but I think Jesus also said that there would be those who would actually claim to be Jesus Christ's followers and um, he would actually say to them, that they were workers of lawlessness and he never knew them and he told them to get away from him. Correct. He said that it was only those doing the will of he his did father say that. that would inherit the kingdom. So as I've said earlier, each of us must look into the scriptures, we must decide for ourselves who is teaching the truth, who is doing the will of the father and we go with those ones. You may disagree with what we do, we may disagree with what you do, but at the end of the day, it's down to each individual to make their own decision. My thought is, you know, my last thought is this, that if it wasn't for the hard labours of all the Christians down the centuries, your founder, Charles Taze Russell, wouldn't have even been able to pick a Bible up. He wouldn't have even been able to disagree and say, you know, you guys are all wrong, sorry. The truth is over here. I think the thing is... The truth Charles, is only in this organisation here. I think the thing is, with Charles Taze Russell and the others... Have you, ever, have you ever, like, researched the uh, teachings of Charles Taze Russell? Um, bits and pieces I know of. I know that he, he didn't understand certain things, he couldn't work things out. And it wasn't just him, there were many of them sat down together. Um, but as I say, we've all got the Bible, we can all look at the Bible and we can discern for ourselves what we think is a truthful teaching, what we think it isn't. So, and that's what each of us have to do. But it's been nice to talk to you today. It's nice to talk Enjoy to you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Don't get What's your name? What's your name? Pat. Pat. You're Chris, you said, didn't you? Yeah. Well, right you know, just because I disagree, disagree with you, that's it okay, that's doesn't mean to say that I've got a problem with you yeah, as people. Okay. You know, I can honestly say that as people, I have a respect for you. Yeah. Well, as I say, you know, have we no have, problem. We, we okay. Don't have a problem with any of these people. We go and talk to them. We right. will talk to anybody who wants to talk to us. We know. That's and fine. if people disagree with what we believe in, that's entirely up to them. But enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. Right. I could talk to you again later. See you soon.